have a program that's going to take a little while, so we're going to cut things maybe a little short and, and cut some things out. So, uh, Virginia, would you take up the collection when it's time? I was going to have Bert do it, but I don't see yet, so. If she doesn't show up, would you do that for me? Then that, and I'll do that. Okay. okay. Um, let's start with our opening hymn, page 463. <laughs> Stand, please, if you can, and let's just do the first two verses. So, Lord, speak to me. <laughs>
Lovey Sunday. We have a special program today, and we have Joel and Teresa and Grant Miller and uh, Wards and Savannah. Anyway, they're going to do this program that they all went to. Uh, not Savannah. <laughs> went to Guatemala. And Joel has pictures, and I heard him play his banjo, so I think he's got a lot he wants to get in. So I'm going to let these guys get started. And I think Teresa maybe even has a children's Okay. So I'll let you guys introduce the rest of your group, okay? And do whatever. Okay. All right? Uh, 
because, like I said, when the Spirit is upon you, emotion, your heart, your heart is soft, and um, you can't really go to a place like this with a hard heart because you can't absorb what God really wants you to hear, what He wants you to see. And so what you see right here, uh, this is us driving into Guatemala. Um, you're going to see later, we were all in some vans um, we, we packed into. This is right into Guatemala City. You can see that houses are, this is where people live. I mean, this is right off the bridge, and this goes for miles. Just miles and miles and miles, Dad, you can just keep on clicking through. There you go. This is us. Um, as you can see, I like to have a good time. Um, I'm happy. We had 13, was that 13 of us? Well, no, this is, this is, this is when we were actually there. We had the kids of the orphanage in there with us, as you can see. 22? Okay. Take care with little bands out here and pack 22 people in. We're smiling. Uh, we were having a good old time. We could probably fit two or three more people. Yeah. How many people can you get in the van? One more. One more. One more. You can always fit one. No matter what, you can always fit one more. Dad, you can stay yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we actually had the door shut on ours. As you can see here, this is in uh, Rio Jose, uh, where we were at. This is basically down at the market. This is a family. There's a kid right here. This is how they travel. I mean, the, the wife has everything. The husband drives. Kids go in between. The policeman, day in, day out, always had something. Um, I like to wait. I don't even see what they would do, but they would just, you know. Dad, you can explain this. <laughs> I think this, this is kind of a Guatemala lifestyle. If it doesn't work, you just drop it and work around it. You don't fix it, you don't tear it down, you just make a pile or a nest of things and hopefully reroute it and get it to work. Well, this is power lines and phone lines down in the town of Rio Dulce, and, you know, it's, I hate to see the electrician get up there and try to figure all this out and who gets what and, and goes where, but this is, this is great compared to the pictures we'll show you here in a little bit where we did some mission work in Fort Concrete. They had one light bulb, one receptacle, and that, that's all they had. So for some, this is a luxury. This is at the market. Um, this is Dad actually walking outside of the market, and you can see two guys just sitting there. This was, I mean, imagine a 360-degree view. Uh, this is what you would see. This is in the morning, right, guys? Yeah, about nine in the morning. Yeah, this is about nine in the morning. We did, went down to the market, and uh, this is this is kind of the view that you guys would see. Mom. Anybody? Anybody? They had a lot of open markets where you go and you know buy food, and you know over here we think everything has to be refrigerated. <laughs> well, those are chickens. They are covered up so bugs don't get on them, but. Um, yeah, they, all the food was out in the open. Uh, um, yeah, uh, so. The smell, we, we didn't eat all the food. Just <laughs> 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 what kind of food was that? Chicken. That was chicken. chicken. That, was chicken. chicken. that was a whole chicken. Mm -hmm. just, yeah, just laying there. Uh -huh. You could walk up there and, and ask them for half a chicken, they'd grab one, pull it out. <laughs> there you go. And was it cooked? No. 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 Like I said, you got to imagine the smells down here. I mean, uh, I've done the pictures and up here, but we had lizards, snakes, pops, uh, anything you can imagine that you see up here, kill it and hang it. And it was in the, in the heat. Dad, you want to explain the cabin? Before we went, it was a lot of prayer time, a lot of gathering. Dennis and Doris pulled us together. They were our sheep herders, and we were the flock, and put us down and just covered everything from takeoff to landing to don't put this in your mouth, don't accept this, don't get down there and you see these, all these little kids at the orphanage and start making promises that you can't fulfill. You know, your heart's overflowing and you want to give, 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 and you say, oh, we'll get back and we'll do this when we get back. No, unless you can do it and afford it. And they can afford to go get whatever you're going to do so it was a, you know, it's not just a, uh, oh, we're going to go. It was a year of meeting with Dennis and Doris, and that, that really helped us prepare for what's, what's to come. Physically, mentally, and spiritually, when we, when we see this. So. <coughs> well, I will come on now. Explain anybody? That's one of those. Yeah. 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 Tumulos. 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 
Their speed bumps were rats. <laughs> Definitely not a bump. This is, these are at the market. Mom? Or anybody? Who, who took this picture? I didn't. I didn't. Uh, Dustin. Dustin. Yeah. Eggs. Well, you yeah, see sex eggs anywhere. You, we always see them refrigerated. They don't have to be. They're just there. Yeah. And this is in any market you go to that's not refrigerated or is stacked up. You grab what you need. <laughs> and we've heard eggs are okay until you refrigerate. Once you refrigerate, you've got to keep them refrigerated. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I don't know how many weeks or days those sat there. <laughs> This is at the market. This is like us going to a mall. Um, this is their mall. It's about the best way to describe it. This is where you can buy anything that their basic necessities. Um, Dennis, you want to explain? That's the lake that our hotel is on. Lake East Mall. Okay, yeah, I didn't know what lake it was. Beautiful foliage. Um, you know, the, yeah, the environment was was beautiful. You know, but it's surrounded by poverty. Um, this is our hotel. We're all um, eating. Thank goodness for Dennis and Doris because they always told us what was <laughs> what the menu meant. So these pictures are very deceiving. Yeah. Where we stayed at. Yeah. yeah. What you see in the previous pictures, that's what it is. Everywhere out and about. But we were very fortunate. The hotel we were at. This is what we the rooms and. It wasn't like going to the Holiday Inn here, but it was accommodations that you could live with. And where's the lizard? <laughs> well, that hole right up there is where the lizard came from. <laughs> That's the shower. It's called the Widow Maker. Uh, you turn that on before you get in the shower, and then you don't touch it again. You see the wires up there? It's just wire nets. And once you're water. wet, you don't reach out and touch it or you're lit up. <laughs> but, but yeah, I had a little fellow drop in the shower with me through that hole. That's great around in the shower for a while. But. And down by the lake that we yeah. stayed by. Back to you, go back to that shower head. I don't, I, don't want to, I don't want everybody to be scared about it. No, that, no it's, it's just when you turn it on, or when you turn the shower on, don't reach up there and touch the head. They don't always light you up, light you up. Yeah. Sometimes they will. So we just told them, when you, when you want to adjust the heat on it, then you turn the shower off and adjust the heat and turn the shower back on. We told everybody about my brother. No. <laughs> we were just thankful to have a shower. Hey, guys, what are you Oh, this is us at work. Um, you can see all of us. There's me, Brett, Bill, Dennis, Nathan, on just right outside of the picture. Us guys, um, we're mixing concrete on the ground. I mean, I, Dad was doing it the other day to where he had a wheelbarrow, and he's sitting there just mixing it. Well, we're talking, how, how many yards, guys, did we? Two, yeah, two and a half to three yards, yeah. as you remember. But that we were I fear you wouldn't do it that way. You know, your, your mud would just keep filling in, going down in the sand, getting more and more. Yeah. The ground's hard enough there, you just mix it on the ground, you scoop it back up, it's like you're almost on the concrete. Uh -huh. You just had a little truck back up and dump the rock out, dump the sand out, and then you went to make some bug wheelbarrow pulls, hollow buckets of water to it from their one little <laughs> pump, and they know exactly how to mix it. We would have never pulled it off, but the the workers we had with us knew exactly what they were doing. And when we got them, we had a pile. You probably could have put a five gallon bucket. That's how close they came to the job. Yeah. Doing it by hand, mixed on the ground. Yeah. This is Yasmin. Uh, she's a little three year old. She was inside the house, would not come out. You know, she was shy. Well, I used my cell phone. For those of you that you know, you have a camera on the front of your cell phone where I could flip it around. And she was looking at herself right now. So I was, I was just showing her herself through my phone, and I just happened to hit the button and clicked it. And uh, ever since then, she, this is what happened. <laughs> uh, this girl would not come out, and then Dustin just, uh, Dustin wasn't able to work. Um, you know, we, we did the work, Dustin played. Um, that is their swing. This is their swing. Um, just some, what, what do you call it, Dad? Bailing, bailing, bailing wire? Yeah, it's it's a crate. Yeah. yeah, okay, there you go. It was an old crate. Um, this is, as you can see, there's hammocks 
back there, um, all their stuff, all their living stuff. Is, Dennis, did you ever find out, is that where they slept? No, I never that, asked. That was just the stuff in the house that we okay. put in Florida. Okay, because I, I didn't ever see Betty or anything. Well, you guys Women? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever's not crying. Mike and Karen and, and four of the girls uh, that they care for. The children that they that they have in their in their their mission are all older children, unadoptable, basically children that uh, that they take on. And one of the little boys has, is it autism, mm -hmm. is, is autistic. Uh, so those are the kids that they take. And these are four of the girls that, that they have. Uh, the three boys are. They were the school, I think. They were the school, yeah. So, the Mike and Karen are the, uh, the missionaries that have the order. This is their house. They live? Go ahead. Oh, yeah, go ahead. They have, what, 90, 90 acres, I think. 35. 35. It was like 80. Yeah. It's okay. Anyway, anyway, hey, this is their <coughs> Thank you. 
I like building something out of concrete and blocks going up to make it more like what we would use. And they're always willing to show you how to make a tortilla. <laughs> <laughs> this is Dustin. That's his is square. <laughs> There's <laughs> round. Yeah, he 
from the autism spectrum. He was publicly high functioning. He, he was verbal. He talked a lot. He was very active. But over there, they have no special education. So he attended you know, his class and was expected to do everything. And so there was a lot of frustration. Um, so yeah, I visited with Karen quite a bit and you know, encouraged her to let the teacher know that you know, he's, he's different. It's not because he doesn't want to. You know, he, he couldn't. And um, so, but yeah, very sweet little boy that could have climbed through to the top if we had <laughs> called him down. So we're just laying out the crosses and uh, all the members and then also all the working uh, people at the missionary they all got one as well too. and uh, this is Benito Benito was their uh, minister at the board meeting that they're out for it's a church just like this that's no wall it's all open air and uh, he helped us with concrete and stuff. But some of the crosses we made, like the one I had on, it's a, it's a cross, but it's a disfigured cross. It's not an exact, perfect alignment. To, I just wanted to show that not everybody is perfect. There's some that walk with a limp, or some that are blind, or some that are missing limbs, but you know, the, they're still Christians. They're still on the inside of, of their hearts. So it doesn't doesn't matter if that cross has to be perfect. There was only one person that was perfect, and he hung on that cross. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we were done, Benito wanted, you know, I wanted him to have that cross and even learn. And so it, it was a it was a blessing to meet him. We spoke. He spoke no English, and he and I did the trialing of the concrete together. And just we watched back and forth what one was doing, and we caught on.
and then it also have the, I guess you'd say the story of the different colors. You can see the bracelets or the necklaces that have the, like the, the jelly beans that have the different colors and the meanings and the symbols of the different colors. So we had that on the other side of the card for them. And then each day we would also teach them a prayer and um, how to use their prayer card. That's one of the, the crosses that they colored. And again, they did, they did beautiful, beautiful work with them. And they got to take these home. And another thing, you know, that touched my heart was I brought these color pages home. They were to take them home. They, they were for them. But um, this one little girl, she came up and was trying to give it to me. And in my poor, poor Spanish, I'm trying to tell her, no, you can take this home. This is for you. And she just kept insisting that I take it. And so finally, we were able to communicate enough. I, I, I casa. I was like, no, you casa. And she was like, no. And she big smile. And she was like, you casa. And I was like, you want me to me casa? And si, si. And so she ran off to her little friends. And she got another little girl. And here they come running together, the two of them. And they're just laughing. And they hand me their pictures. You casa. <laughs> you know? and, and that just you know touched my heart. That, it was something that they didn't ever get, but they were giving it back to me. And then our final day, we had 117. 117 show up. And our plan for that day was to make bracelets with the different colors. And we had 72 was all. Well, as the Lord would have it, Karen from the, the orphanage, she already had a bag of them all made up for a Sunday school class that they had had. So we just traded for our packets and took the ones that were already made up and, you know, the Lord just provided each step of the way for us. It, it was really great, you know. He provided Teresa for Danny. And, you know, he just trusted me. He, he knew everybody that needed to be here. This was, uh, Doris's mom had made these crosses. And we handed those out and gave those to the kids. Just every day when they would leave, we would just line up. And we'd have a little something to give them. And those that weren't handing out, we would just line up and just open our arms and just give them hugs as they would leave. And you know, tell them we'll see you tomorrow or God bless you or whatever we could say in Spanish. And it was just amazing. They played musical chairs. We had more fun than they did. <laughs>
that? Yeah, I took it. That's my picture. But that what was, was one it? of the cathedrals <laughs> back in the 1500s they had a fat earthquake. And the earthquake damaged one of the older buildings of the That's their market, isn't it? Yeah. Indians. Yeah. <laughs> These were one dollar. One dollar in America. They say one one American. And so, um, Mom, are you are any of the ladies wearing any of the jewelry? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. But um, this is beautiful, beautiful. They, and they said it was jade. I don't know if you know, if many of you know what jade is, but it's a very high quality cloth, if I'm correct. Um, and so one dollar for these, and they would follow you around until you just walked away. No, this this is a picture I took um, of a little girl on the back. I, I don't really know how how they would tie that and get them back there. But she looks comfortable. Here's Dustin. You can see his wallet in the right hand corner here. <laughs> Dustin wanted ice cream. Well, they took it as Dustin was buying the ice cream for the kids. <laughs> so Dustin gave him money, he, what, he told him what he wanted, and the kids took it and ate it. Dustin just kept a smile on his face and we walked away. Um, Dennis, what, do you know the name of this volcano? There was numerous volcanoes, but... This was Agua. Agua. It's a dead volcano. Oh, Mom, Dad. You guys okay, started. this um, is the family that, you know, they poured the concrete. Um, when we came back, Again, uh, their water, what, was it just runoff water? They would catch it? Is that right? No, it's not a well. They had a well. They did have a well. It's that piece of pipe that went right in front of them. There, okay. It's coming from this small pump. Going to that pila, is that right? right? And what that is is a three basin. Uh, the center of it is where they pump the water to. Storage tank. Like, you know, like a storage, but one side of it is got a building washboard where they did their clothes and whatever the other side of it they washed their dishes in. And it's all the same water up. That's all they use. So that's the only running water they have. Let me take a bath out. Yeah. So anyway, when we came back, um, uh, we wanted to send a water filter over. And um, it's a little black thing connected to the bucket. And you can pour the dirtiest, yuckiest water and it will totally clean it. And it just came out in January and we even take out viruses and bacteria because so many you know, people get dysentery because of the water. <coughs> so um, we thank you. We understand your church um, gave money and so we will purchase another one and what we'll do, we'll send it with you know, one of the next missionary teams that goes over and I'm sure Mike and Karen will have another family that this will go to. So, thank you. And there we go. Anything else? Anybody wants to? I guess uh, we could all close this because we all said it. And so many of us, now I'm only 24, but so many of us, we, we give and we give and give and we get phone calls and can you give this and give that. This, we get to see where our money's going. Um, uh, who was it? Somebody gave a doll, correct? Was it Bill and Kathy? Did you guys give a doll? We got pictures on Facebook. So we were in this group and we got to see that little girl, Yasmin, with the doll. That, that right there shows something. It means something to all of us. And um, as you can see, emotions are very high when we get to see this. Normally you give $100 a month, you don't see where it goes. You pray, you pray over that money, pray, pray, God bless that money, bless this family. You don't ever get to see the end result. We got to see the end result and we're going to continue to see the end result and hopefully we get to see that second orphanage come through and we all get to go down to it again. So thank you guys for your time and thank you for allowing us to come and show what we did. We've already got a group together and I think more of the time than it does next well we'll see when yeah, next we'll see. March or we go back down again. Yep. Okay. Dad do you you guys wanna show your little entertainment? There was pictures we used to kinda of scan right through them. Mom, Dad, Dustin and I kinda of gave the entertainment. Dad you wanna get your and Joe and kids, kiddos, if we have any kids, you guys want to come up front and we're going to kind of do what we did there. Um, the kids absolutely love this. Um, 
and was amazed at how they were just in a trance of <laughs> watching mom more than anything. I'm watching, watch what mom does. Um, I don't have spoons. I, I played the spoons. Dustin has a jaw harp um, that he played. They did actually have a speaker and a microphone that Dustin was able to play into. But. Imagine 117 kids just focused on this little thing, and just smiling and not knowing what's going on. Go ahead, guys.
And for our closing hymn, hymn number 408, The Gift of Love. Will you be standing?